So I'm going to start with telling you a little bit about our team. There are three of us. We spent time at Apple, Yahoo, and Microsoft. So Andrew spent five years at Apple. His last big project was Time Machine. He then left in 2008 just to work on iOS apps. He's built over 20 different apps, one of which is the iPad app for French Laundry. Pretty high visibility, really technical product. Mike was at Microsoft for five years. His last project was Windows Phone 7 developer tools. And then I spent time at Yahoo managing revenue for the display advertising business. And previous to that, I ran pricing at WebEx. So our model is software as a service. Our audience is developers. And the way that we're building these tools is really to make it easy for developers to make the apps that they want and to communicate with their customers and ensure that the experience end to end is exactly how they want it to be. We believe that user experience and user interface is of primary importance in today's world because there are so many apps out there that connecting with your audience isn't just about providing a simple solution, it's providing a solution that makes sense to their brain. So that's why it's possible to have hundreds of different apps that are solving a problem like Choosy is solving, right? Connecting with your audience is about that user experience, that user interface. That's how we're going about this. All of our client-side code is already open source on GitHub. People are taking that code, they're looking at it, they're looking at our documentation for our API, they're branching it, they're taking what we've built and what we think is possible and they're building on top of it. That's really our main approach. What we've been doing is we started this in March, we launched it, soft launched it, at WWDC. We talked to lots of serious developers there and we're focused on top-tier development studios, top-tier game studios, really top tier independent developers, and then the developers who find us on their own on the web, and we're learning from that. So this is a lean startup event, and we're iterating. We're already on V2 of our API, V2 our, of our SDKs, and we're working on V2 of our developer inbox. And that's us. That's a, that's a, great, that's a, it's a great pitch. Um, what, and it's a real problem, what, what's going to stop some of the, the folks like Apple and and and, and, all, and, and Facebook and all these others that have you know they're, that are just building this in and, and and sort of solving this problem. Once you prove that it that it really is a problem, what's going to stop? Let's just take Apple from from putting this into their code base. So two things. One is Apple has shown uh, a lack of interest in consumer communication over its product lifecycle, and we're pretty close to the people at at Apple. We've talked to them about what they're doing. This doesn't seem interesting to them. Like, we've been honest. Are you guys going to come into this space? It doesn't seem interesting to them. But the second thing is, when you're dealing with cross-platform problems and successful developers are going to be attacking the audiences across the platforms they're on, those guys can't play this. They're not interested in playing it. When you think about bringing in sort of marketing tools for these app developers who actually want to understand how they can, their app can be highly listed in their category or vertical in the app store and things, so sort of SEO for apps? Absolutely, we've actually been testing that term out a little bit to see if it resonates with people. So our V1 was just about feedback and then we offered something that is a smarter way of collecting ratings. It basically prompts a user at a certain point in time, says, are you enjoying this app? If they say yes, then we take them to rate. If they say no, we take them to give us feedback, right? So that's the first step towards this marketing solution, but we think there's a lot of tools there based upon our customer conversations. What's the number one milestone you need to achieve in the next six months? Revenue. <laughs>